Okay. Brother, let me tell you a story. I'm in the middle of Amsterdam Square with some killers. I'm waiting on Papa to stab them like 60,000 times, bro, and I have the knife myself. I'm ashamed to tell you this, bro. I take off all my jewelry. I'm in the damn square with Penko, and I'm going to show Penko that he needs to put respect on his name. My brother, this is stupid what I'm telling you, but believe me to God. If Papa shows up here, you will hear the news and someone will be here to make the video. My brother, I'm not lying when I tell you this. I'm waiting on Papa to fix him. Good. And I'm waiting if he shows, brother, you will hear the news. I make no joke. And I would never send you a voice note like this for no reason. I'm not here to make a comedy show, bro. Or a movie. But I'm here to start a real fucking live show. Bro, believe me. This nigga let me work this stage and don't pay me, bro. And he's talking tough. I'm waiting on him. Bro, if he shows, you will know. Voice note allegedly sent by popular Jamaican entertainer said to be known as Yakur. This post is for news, public awareness, and slash or educational purposes. Only the voice message was said to have been sent last year shortly before he stabbed a promoter said to be known as Papa, in Amsterdam. Yakur, real name Sikachar Alcock, is now currently serving a six, six, year prison sentence in a hashtag Dutch. Prison after being found guilty of attempted manslaughter in relation to the incident Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. All of the information they are making today news, Pernell Charles Sr. in a crash. A policeman reportedly rushed to the hospital. A JDF member reportedly got shot and injured in the area of Crossroad by gunman on a motorcycle. Two persons reportedly got killed in the area of Negril, Jamaica first grade teacher charged in the US. So welcome to the Sky TV, my new viewers. How are you doing, my subscribing family? Definitely feel free to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video so it can be promoted to more law-abiding citizens right across the beautiful country and the world itself so they can understand what is really taking place. So people, listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about Pernell Charles reportedly crashed. A policeman was just rushed to hospital after the motorcycle he was driving collided in a vehicle that was being driven by politician. Pernell Charles SNR reports are that the politician, who was the Speaker of the House of Representatives, was traveling along Queens Hill Road, St. Andrew, when the incident took place. The policeman, who was traveling on a marked motorcycle, has since been rushed to hospital. The state of his condition is now known at this time. The politician, who appeared shaken up by the incident, was seen standing beside his vehicle. More details later as Loop News continues to track the story. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family definitely drop a comment down below. So me know your thoughts and input on the whole entire situation. Any and every information reportedly pop up on social media surrounding the incident. Definitely know say I'm here the viral boss to bring come right here foot to make you understand what is really taking place. So people drop a quick and a praying comment down below wishing a speedy recovery for Pernell Charles and the policeman also. People are moving on to the next topic now. Listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about two reportedly got killed in the vicinity of Negril. The police have confirmed that there was a double murder in Negril on Thursday morning. The victims are a male and a female. Unconfirmed reports indicate that the male was a taxi operator who was known as Wacky, and the female was his girlfriend, who residents believe was pregnant at the time of her death. However, the Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, the police's information arm, could not confirm any details as investigators were still on the scene of the crime. More details to follow later. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family, welcome or welcome back. May I love to hear your input on the whole entire epicness of what is really taking place right here. So imagine a pregnant woman involved in the incident here. People, as time goes on, definitely know say I'm here the viral boss to bring all of the latest information come right here for people really engaging, really informative and we're always right to the point. We are going to dig and source the information for bring Kongio. People as the giant anti-gang task force reportedly operate upon the incident yeah, they have to find the cockroach that do the incident, the double murder. Yeah. People are moving on to the next topic. Now, listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about Jamaican first grade teacher charged in the US. A Jamaican first grade teacher in the US was arrested last week Friday and charged with trafficking methamphetamine, according to the Fayetteville Police Department. Anthony Shaw Chambers, 34, was charged with trafficking by possession 
trafficking by transport and maintaining dwelling for the purposes of narcotics and conspiracy, the release stated. Chambers teaches first grade at the E. Melvin Honeycutt Elementary School on Lakewood Drive in Fayetteville. Chambers, who was in the USA on a visa, is reportedly participating in an exchange visitor program where teachers are sponsored for placements, K-12, in public, private, and charter schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. She was arrested alongside Bradford Gordon. He has been charged with trafficking by possession, trafficking by transport, maintaining dwelling for the purposes of narcotics and conspiracy according to the release. Gordon is also in the U.S. on a visa. Detectives seized more than four pounds of methamphetamine during the investigation, the release said. Chambers was hired by Cumberland County Schools on August 8, 2021, according to the system. Chambers is still listed as a first grade teacher on the school's website but will not be allowed to return to the campus. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family are people like the first grade teacher you make it hard for some people go far in. You saw me I say, drop a comment down below so me know you thought any input on the whole entire situation. We're really informative, we're really engaging and we're right to the point. People are moving on to the next topic now. Listen to what Alex reported have to say about a JDF member reportedly got shot and injured in the vicinity of Crossroad by gunmen on a motorcycle allegedly. Police have launched a search for two men traveling on a motorcycle who shot and injured a man in front of the Crossroads tax office on Wednesday. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family definitely know that as time goes on, we have more information from what is really taking place right there. So, we're really informative. People want to tell us in spite of everything, drop a prayer and comment wishing a speedy recovery for the JDF member in spite of everything allegedly that is taking place.